Hey there, Brewberries, what's up, and welcome to another episode of Guild Wars 2. Now I have something to tell you. You may be wondering, Pixel, I can see your arms. Firstly, I want to say, before we get into the whole seeing the arms thing, uh, I am. we are currently working on trying to get Mavris to stay in place for uh, a long time. So if I have to occasionally like ra make random little cuts and stuff, that's probably what it is. I'm probably having to make put him back into place or whatever. So it's just dog training going on. So sorry if there are any random little cuts that don't make sense. That's what's happening. But firstly, maybe but beyond that, you, you may notice you can see my arms and you may see that there are things going on with the hot bar that are different than where we left them. I have made a change and I think, OK, OK, who's talking? Why are you all the way over there and I can hear you? Also, my guy's still talking. Uh, let's go over. Let, 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 let's find a place that's a little bit more secluded. Why don't we? All right, that's better. I think this will work out better. Doesn't seem to be nearly as many sounds. So I've made a change, and that is that we are no longer a warrior. We are a ranger profession. The character is exactly the same. As you know, in Guild Wars 2, you can't just swap professions. Uh, you have to entirely make a new character. So I recreated our character and did the... It, he's literally exactly the same. The only thing that has changed is the class and the reason for that is i simply was not i just was not having fun playing the warrior i really tried and i have multiple videos gosh darn it there are people talking here as well we're just gonna we're just gonna work through it it's okay um i just simply wasn't having a fun a ton of fun um playing the warrior i recorded probably three to four more episodes beyond this one um or what this episode number would have been with the warrior got him up to like level i don't know 15 20 or something like that and still it's just it it, it just really wasn't vibing i just was not liking it so we are are changing it up and we now are a ranger and i've done this for a couple reasons I, I i played through i played the guardian up through to level 20. i played the rain another ranger up through level 20 and then i played um an elementalist even though i thought i wouldn't like it necessarily i played an elementalist up through level 20. and ranger i felt was the best for this character particularly because of a few things it, it fits i think thematically we're doing the whole spirit stuff and i think rangers being tied to that we have our, our our wolf here that i need a name for um i if you guys have any name suggestions please put them down uh, either in the comments or uh, there is a discord channel where if you uh, didn't realize we do have a discord i'll put a link to it or a little doohickey up here uh at right now and uh you can join and opt into the to the guild wars 2 channel um and you can put your name suggestions there and talk about all things guild wars 2 but I would love to have a name that you guys uh, kind of bring up. I'm try I was potentially thinking about making a W name. I was going to go with Walter, uh, but then uh, it didn't sound that heroic. So any name that you guys come up with, uh, I will be more than happy to put slap on this guy. Um, but I think it fit the, the Ranger, I think, fits thematically. So uh, while we're talking, I'm going to also just wander around Olbrak and just get all of these points and stuff. I think that would be a good use of our time today is not going to necessarily be a super crazy episode uh, how are we gonna get up there i think we have to do this um because the ranger is purely built on being connected kind of to their pet um and or their companion animal and that to me makes a lot of sense with the norn culture and we're go we're connected to the spirits as well and i think it just makes a lot of sense. Um, and as I was playing, I kind of found a weapon style that fit was kind of what I was hoping the warrior was going to be uh, in terms of how you use the, the great sword and how you use the bow in particular. I actually was trying to trying out the axes because you throw axes and I was trying it out 
but I actually think that I personally like the bow more. Um, so we have this bow here. And so we're going to be using most likely we may swap back and forth between the axe and the bow, but we're going to be using the great sword and the bow similar to what we were going to be doing for the the uh, warrior. But it just feels so much better. I think you could realize that where is the next point? OK, so there's this guy over here and OK, there's three back there. OK, we'll wander over there. Um, I think you could realize that I wasn't really vibing with the warrior skills. Uh, I kept feeling like things were off. Things felt not like how they should be interacting in my head. Um, and I, I felt that way all the way up through level 20. And it just never got better. I didn't really like the skill tree either. Like I, the more I read into it, the more I was like, I, I really don't enjoy the skill tree. And I don't really, the thing that I was looking forward to maybe the most would have been, how do we get to this next one? Uh, do we, is there just, I guess a path here? Uh, oh, there's an instance. Ah, well, we'll enter the instance anyways. Um, I just was not, I, I, I had level 80 to look forward to apparently. And that was it. I was looking forward to the double daggers and that was it. And so I just couldn't get on board with that whole, like until level 80, I wasn't going to necessarily be enjoying my time. And that's kind of what it boiled down to. So I was really not looking forward to that. And I figured videos would be way more entertaining for you guys, especially if I'm actually enjoying myself, which I think makes a whole lot of sense. Now I'm going to actually turn off services, vendors, everything except what's a map. Bonus? I don't know. Uh, what's navigation? I will keep navigation on. So now we just have these things. We don't have to look at the like vendor things. I think that'll be good. Okay. So let's go here and just kind of work our way around. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just wasn't enjoying the, the, the sort of vibe of the way a warrior was playing and somehow we're supposed to get into there. We'll figure it out. Um, so that's why we are now doing the Ranger. And I think it's actually the abilities feel really, really cool. I really have been digging. I have not felt that way at all about the Ranger. And I really didn't feel that way actually about the Elementalist either. I, I thought I would. I thought I wouldn't like the Elementalist, but that is actually a class that I was like, oh, this actually isn't nearly as uh, not bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, and so let's we can run through some of the uh, abilities and stuff just to show you how it works. It feels very much to me. This feels like what the warrior should have been. But I guess maybe in my head, I was taking it as the war, a warrior Norn. And that's not the warrior class has to fit amongst everybody. And so I think this is like what I imagine the warrior Norn class particularly. This also is epic, like Jeez, this is a sick place. But anyways, abilities are you just the simple slash your foe, slice your foe, and then the slash your foe. But this restores endurance instead of, I think the warrior inflicted like vulnerability or something. Is there, please tell me there's a little, yeah, okay. Um, which, so it's, uh, I can't do all three, but very similar vibe in terms of the, the warrior play. But then you get into the other abilities and they are pretty, pretty different. This one is pretty, probably my favorite uh, you attack your foe with the force of bear your pet gains an attack of opportunity so insert name here is uh gonna get an attack of opportunity and then you apply vulnerability as well and you can hit a whole number of people in front of you and so it looks like that so it looks pretty epic it's got a really short cooldown as well and it vibes well with this which we'll get into in a second now which way do we need Go. Okay, we need to go back back through that way i guess the three ability is really pretty fun as well this is the three i think is the way that i thought the five ability on the warrior would uh work the five on the warrior was the like run at the foe and i could not for the life of me figure out how to make it work without having to directly like click on and target the person um and the more i tried it for so freaking long to try and make it work also there's a face right there hello face 
Hello, Sigfast. Goodbye, Sigfast. Um, also, I see this chest. We definitely need this chest. Let's see. What did that give us? A bag of mystic coins. Coins are, are used to create high-level weapons at the Mystic Forge in Lion's Arch. Part of Zomar Marmron's favorite trades. Okay. Uh, we will put that away. Oh, also, got a black lion chest with a key. So let's go ahead and open that. This is a mini and a doo-doo and then random things. So, wait, I already have this. Maybe it'd be best if I sent this to my necromancer or something. Because I've already opened this and I've already unlocked the mini red Shiba Inu, I think. Let's check in our miniatures. Where is it? Miniatures? Yeah, mini red Shiba Inu. That's what this guy is. Also, Kyle, I, I sent a message to Kyle. And what the heck? I've been watching your videos at Ch Chantoni. Oh, this is actual mail. Whoa, that's sick. Guild Wars doing I heard you want more bags. Have a great journey, my friend. Oh, thank you, Shantoni. I was not expecting this. I was like, oh, I got some like random random mail from from the the just Guild Wars in general. Whoa, this is awesome. 18 slot, 18 slot. Oh, oh, you are a legend. Ooh, and an invisible bag. Never appear in sell two vendor lists and will not move when inventory sorted. That's actually really cool. Well, thank you so much, Shantoni. Man, that, is, that means a lot because I went and I bought these eight slot bags because they were the cheapest that I felt like I could afford. Oh, this is, this is glorious. Thank you so much. This is, this is awesome. Um, but what I was going to say was Kyle also, I sent a, a message to Kyle Blaine. He's doing a, a series on this. He's the one that inspired me to do the series. And, uh, I sent him a snowball <laughs> and then he and Wintertooth 100 also, if you like Guild Wars 2 content, definitely check them out because they're doing great, a great series on this as well. Um, they both have this robot kitty that is uh, this and so I have been running around with this on because I think it's pretty hilarious and I sent him this guy which is just an angry snowball because it was the the best that I could afford since I'm a little bit poor but I'm running around with this guy on I think it's pretty hilarious again thank you so much Shantoni that is really really kind and I am going to equip these right now <laughs> because I do desperately need more inventory space I it is so crazy how much space you actually need and when you don't have it I'm gonna expand this um I guess oh that's that's frustrating maybe may, uh, uh I just want it to oh I just want oh no okay we'll just do this I guess that's fine um you know what Let's just open this now. Let's just go ahead and open this. All right. Mini Shibi Shibu Inu Black Line Commemorative Coin. Commem commemorate. Commemorate. Commemoration. <laughs> and then Black Line Statuette. Double click to exchange for items in available in the Black Line chest. Okay. And then Transmutation Charge. That's awesome. Uh, okay. So we'll just consume all of these so we have them all. And then what happens if we do this? So we have a few of these. We have three, yeah. Um, can you get anything that is like that good? Black Lion Salvage Kit. Double click, then select an item in your inventory to salvage for crafting materials. 100% chance to recover upgrades. 50% chance to get rarer materials. Ah, well, interesting. I'm not really... Oh, there's all of these. I'll have to take a look at that later. <laughs> there's no, no way that I can do that. Uh, we already have this, so I don't quite know what to do with it. Uh, let's do this. And I really don't have any concept as to what to do with except e sell it. Let me know what you what the, what should I do with this black line commemorative coin? I, I I honestly don't know if it's just there for gold or what, because uh yeah, don't really know. Hello, my eeks. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Oh, you're a ranger too. Hello. Uh, but anyways, back to uh, exploring the world. Okay, we're going to get out of this cave. Uh, this ability, as I was saying, the warrior ability just felt odd to me and I could never get it to work. Even, even sometimes as I clicked on people, it just, my brain was not, my synapses weren't firing with it is basically the end to end discussion of it. This one is a little bit easier to use a little bit and it's a little bit more interesting, I think, 
Um, you also get a bit of an eva evasion as well with it, and you just run and leap at people. But see, like having this spirit things on the abilities, I think fits really thematically with this character. Being a Norn, being in the spirit uh, sort of realm of things in our personal story, I think this fits really, really well. So that's what makes it makes me really excited about it. We also have a counter attack that you can move while doing it. And then if they do attack, you kick them. You can kick them by reactivating. Okay, there are so many things appearing on our map. Where do we want to go? Okay, here, here. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to do this. And then this is actually pretty darn interesting as well. Uh, it's a pommel bash. So you just whack them. And then if you do whack them, then it resets your maw ability. So this guy, the bear. So you can do bear, whack them, and then bear again, pretty much like one after another. And it's quite cool. Oh, there's a point of interest here. Where are you? Please. Oh, it is on top of the ice bear. That's cool. Okay, let's get back on this guy. Uh, we need a name for this. Maybe this, well, I'm going to name this guy Walter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name this one. He, his name's Walter. And uh, I don't know why. I always name things Walter. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a problem. I wanted to almost name our dog Walter, so... Thankfully, our, my wife uh, talked me out of that, but we didn't end up naming him Maverick, and now we call him Marv, so I don't know how far we got with that. But I hope you guys understand the whole issue with needing to change the profession and stuff. That is a creep-tastic bear. I, okay, from the front, it looks better. It's just the side view was a bit creepy. The snout's not maybe long enough, in my, my humble opinion. Well, that's very cool. I'll have to come back and take some screenshots and stuff. Oh, oh let's get on Walter here. And Mer okay, didn't quite die, but that's okay. Um, it's really just a a more of a I needed it to be entertained while playing the game, um, and I didn't want to necessarily invest into a class that I just simply wasn't enjoying. I think it makes for better content when obviously you're enjoying your time and I really that's just how it, it came down boiled down to I just simply wasn't enjoying my time um, and so the abilities here that I unlocked you start with this which is heal yourself and your pet and you each gain copies of the other's boons um, and then this is you and your pet regenerate health over time. So if you activate it, then you're just for eight seconds every second, gaining 139 health, I believe. I don't know what this is. It's a trap. I don't think we have this quite active yet. This, the one I have active, is you summon a water spirit that causes nearby allies to heal when attacking. And so you can have a water spirit out, heals upon striking a foe, you heal for 40. So it's a little bit more of a passive type heal where you're fighting, which I think is pretty cool. This is, also, is another spirit. You summon a sun spirit. Um, and that causes allies and yourself to inflict burning damage on foes, which I think is actually pretty cool. <clears throat> and it actually uh, goes really well with the bow here because the bow is all about attacking fast. And I think that was the issue I had with the warrior was I felt like you should be able to attack. Where's the next one? It's just over here. Okay. The warrior, I felt like you should be able to attack fast with the bow, but I just wasn't ever getting that and it was pretty slow and maybe a bit more powerful but it just felt pretty darn slow uh, and i just couldn't ever really get on board with it uh, and then the two ability on this is you shoot super fast real quick and just feels really impactful and cool and that's that is probably the key word is is that a point of interest i don't think so um, that's probably the the point, the word to describe why I've switched is the warrior to me just didn't feel impactful with a lot in a lot of ways. And maybe the warrior class is just one you have to commit to for a really long time. Let's go get this guy. Um, that could very well be that uh, you just have to commit to the warrior class and really be in it for the long haul to feel the impact of it. Um, all right, my... My axe. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. There we go. We got this. Okay. Would you just run in? Oh, okay. We failed. Oh, is this a, a route up? Is this? Oh, I, I got. I got this. Here we go. Okay. Here we. Uh, okay. And it, there we go. Cheat our way back up. 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 There we go. And so yeah, the ranger just feels more impactful to me. 
Um, and I just figured if it's impactful now, it's going to be impactful later. And also there's a double dagger thing that you can unlock as well. You can have one dagger uh, as the ranger in your offhand, but you unlock the ability to do double daggers. Oh, this is pretty cool. Maybe I take a screenshot of this. No, nope, this won't show up very well. Yeah, that's not going to show up super well in the screen. The ice is too clear. And what am I? And goodbye, Walter. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, the three ability is you sh fire an arrow that grants you stealth. So, boop. It's just really fast. Does some damage and makes you stealthy. And then the four is a arrow that knocks people back. Is there a point of interest inside? There is indeed. Um, and so it knocks them back. The closer they are, the further knocked back they get. Uh, and then the five ability is pretty cool. You shoot it into the air. And then this just goes for a really long time. Like, a really long time. And it does quite a bit of damage. It cripples people as well. And the cool thing is, the reason why... <clears throat> I've really enjoyed, I think, the Ranger 2 is there's a lot of nuance in how you use. So we've got these two, these three abilities that I unlocked as well. This one, you bleed your foes with your next few attacks. It's just kind of like you click it instantly. You gain Sharpening Stone for 30 seconds and the next 10 attacks bleed. Um, and then this is an evade back with a crack of lightning, dealing damage and gaining vigor. So the cool thing about these two abilities this applies fire this applies bleeding is you can activate them and when you use say you use this ability or you use the five ability they actually stack your oh let's get this speed boost here uh, they actually stack up those uh the 10 bleeding or the fire damage uh, this and thank you cool beans now we're moving faster let's get on walter again um they actually stack up the the effects even more and so i think that's really cool uh that there's just like the that slight nuance to it okay it looks like we need to squeeze our way through this area to get to the veins of the dragon and to get to lake Morn. interesting interesting okay we'll go there uh i guess this way yeah it looks like this is the entrance to the veins But so that's why that, that that is really the main reason why. So I hope you guys are OK with it. I I just really and also we do have we have our, our pet here. Um, and so we have him, which he you can. Uh, I've been changing up the uh, these abilities to not be F1s because I just can't ever click them. I just for some reason, my brain can't do it. Uh, so I've made it so it's an alt ability. And so it lines up with these and it's just going to be alt whatever. Um, so I don't know exactly what the pet does, but so what son of Svanir, but why are you a son of Svanir in this cave? This is strange. Yeah, I don't really know. This doesn't feel like these, these feel like they should be enemies, but we'll roll with it. Um, but it's very cool. I'm, I'm just, I think I, I'm just more happy with this. Hello, son of Svanir. Hello, son of Svanir. Dragon Hollow. Yeah, so we're going to go this way, not take this path. Okay, yeah, we're going to go through this. Cool. So I hope you guys are on, on board with it. It's been way more entertaining for me. As I said, um, I figured doing this now is far better than doing it when I am way deep um, into it because it's just, I don't know. I didn't want to do a character that I wasn't enjoying. And so, and I think everybody can kind of understand that. So that is all that I have to say. Sorry for the ramble. I want to check out this building because this looks pretty cool. I guess maybe I, let's check this out. Doesn't look like I can get up there. Pretty interesting. That looks like a weird slide thing that you be able to do. Are you really punching each other? You get that. Man, Norns are freaks. Oh, let's go to that. Uh, looks like it's going to be over this way. Maybe it's up there. Yeah, it looks like it might be there. Oh, get, get, oh, get, oh, get. There we go. Um, so if any of you are, oh, it's right there. That's not even that difficult. Uh, so if any of you are actually have played Rangers or anything like that, um, let me know. I'm the most th curious thing that I have 
no knowledge about is the whole pet thing is do you unlock pets as you level up or are those things you have to like purchase through with gems and stuff like you actually have to purchase them in order to get cooler pets because that's the only thing that i will hello lady i don't think i screenshotted that fast enough oh well okay Okay, we only have one more vista to do in this area. Let's warp back here. Oh, we've already gotten this. So it looks like this vista is the last one. We've got three more places of interest. Okay, we didn't get this one, so let's not teleport quite yet. And then we've got the lodges, and that's it. Oh, very cool. Okay, so we're almost done. All right, got that. Now let's move on over to... We need to get this guy... So we'll go ahead and warp over here just to save a little bit of time. Um, yeah, so hopefully you understand and can just be can can be OK with it. I'm hoping it's not it is not a decision that I made lightly. I will say that I did spend quite a bit of time. Um, I also consulted with the Discord channel to see if anybody had strong opinions about wanting me to keep it uh, the way we had it. And where is it? Oh, it's over here. OK. Um, and so I think the, the general consensus was play something that you're going to enjoy versus play something that you're going to not, I wasn't hating, hating the warrior, but I just simply, I just wasn't having a lot of, it. so hopefully that's understandable and hopefully we can make this jump. Uh, well, okay. We have to click the space bar. I do indeed have to click the space bar. Walter, why didn't you jump for me? Auto jump should be on. And let's do it. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, this is where I, you can get a really cool screenshot of the gigantic, this whole gigantic place, which is really awesome. I do got to say, this game is probably one of the prettiest games that I've seen in terms of world design, world generation and stuff, at least in terms of maybe MMOs and stuff. Uh, I really have not white played a game like it that is as uh interesting as this one they just seem to go above and beyond also i definitely want to uh check out one of you had mentioned that to check out these uh scarn scar i forget what they're i don't remember what the race name is uh but to check out char that's what it is char not scar this isn't lion king lion king uh, one of you mentioned that I should definitely check out the uh, char area, and I, I should. I de it sounds really cool. I love steampunk, and so that sounds actually right up my alley because any of you who are here for Minecraft definitely know steampunk is my jam, and I absolutely love it. Ooh, what is this? Oh, does this have access right to the cave? And there we go. We got it all done. We're going to we'll take a look-see at that in just a second. I want to get back here into the cave because... This area is pretty darn sick, if I do say so myself. Yeah, look at this. I, for any of you who also watch my Minecraft, this is, I'm almost sold, entirely sold on this being the build style for our next area. Um, not the next area, I should say. In When 118 in Minecraft drops and the, the mountains and stuff are in, this... This is what we're doing. We are doing this like rounded Nordic type of like thing. And I think it's going to be really epic. Uh, but let's open this up because uh, we got it. Oh, transmutation charge. And we got experience. Sick. That's awesome. But I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. I just wanted to get this map completed. New challenges await us in Wayfarer Foothills. Awesome. Um, I just wanted to let's go ahead. This anybody want this? I'll send it to you. I know it's probably not like combine three with an un with two unidentified dyes in the Mystic Forge to create a black and tan. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe we'll hang on to it. Uh, anybody need bags? I have way too many. I'll just put them in the bank. It's fine. Um, I think that's gonna have to do it for this this episode, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me get to talking here. There we go get my face in there so i hope you understand the whole change of profession i think i'm committed to this going forward i know it's going to be more entertaining for me something that i'm going to enjoy so i hope you understand 
and uh, look forward to exploring the Ranger class more. And with that, I will say hasta luego, sayonara, peace be with you, ciao, all the various different things that you can say to say goodbye. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like in real life, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Guild Wars 2. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>